In the last lesson, we continued to build up the detail of this site plan by adding in some trees. Let's now go over everything we've learned from this course and we'll recap and add in some final touches. And now it's just a matter of touching it up, adding in some details that you would like, making sure that all of the layers are you know, at the right opacity, they've got the right order and priority to them, making sure that some things aren't overlaying others, just moving some stuff around and making sure it looks Neat. Depending on the scale of your drawing, you could also add in some people. If this was 1 to 200, maybe 1 to 100, I wouldn't go any higher than 1 to 200. I would add in some people, perhaps some furniture, things like that. But being a site plan, you just really have to show where things are. What you could do maybe is just drop the opacity of this creek maybe to 80% kind of make it blend in a little bit more. And I think that's pretty well done. That looks pretty good in my opinion. You've got the site contours, you've got some trees, you've got the paths, you've got the context, you've got your design, and you've got the creek running through it, you've got some grass textures. It looks pretty damn good. So let's recap. The first thing to do always is to set up your file with the right templates. From there, you can create a gradient that goes from top to bottom of the site and then also overlay a grass material. Add in the contour lines that are from your Rhino or Revit or SketchUp file, wherever you have designed your building and your site from. Add in some contextual buildings that are around the site and also add in your own design. Add in any remaining paths or roads that are nearby and showcase any water features such as rivers, lakes, or creeks. Next, you can add detail to the ground by adding sand and dirt textures as well as grass. And finally, all you have to do is add in the trees. 